What's up everyone, Jeremy R from MTG Headquarters. Doing what I do, continuing our way through Fat Packs of History. You know, as you know, I had to skip Onslaught because I could not find one. I was fortunate enough to find one. It was very, very expensive. Um, the seller did include some extras, so hopefully I can uh, make some more videos out of those and we'll be all right. But anyway, you don't care about any of that. Onslaught uh, is the first and uh, one of the only, uh, it's actually the only large expansion in the Onslaught block. It was the 27th total expansion and came out in October 2002. Uh, the design team was Mike Elliott and uh, Mike Donius. Uh, Randy Bueller was on the dev team. Uh, people like Worth Wol Wolport, stuff like that. Um, obviously, uh, this set was much more valuable uh, pre-reprinting the Fetchlands, but uh, the the big pulls obviously are things like Pluted Delta, Flooded Strand, Wind Swept Heath, Bloodstained Mire, Wooded Foothills, but there are also cards like Aggravated Assault, Goblin Pile Driver, uh, Patriarch's Bidding, Mana Echoes, uh, Weathered Wayfarer, things like that, and you know in foils. It's exactly what you would expect. All the Fetchlands are over a hundred dollars each. The price of this fat pack was more than uh, the price of an entire booster box. Uh, so hopefully we'll get some lucky, get lucky, but uh, let's get right into it. Uh, so you've got your player's guide, the tournament pack, and three boosters, as well as the Onslaught novel, two premium cards, and the spin down. The spin down is actually uh, highly collectible from this set. It's a, I've seen it 20 or $30 uh, just for the dice, the die. I'm sorry. Um, the rules of battle have changed. Morph creatures fight face down and erupt into new forms on command, while tribal cards manipulate the entire creature types. Bring on the onslaught. So let's do just that. Hopefully the uh, next couple of fat packs will be as expensive. Uh, maybe I can get a, a small break. But uh, marching on, we are opening one of every fat pack ever released. This was definitely uh, one that was harder to get, so I'm, I'm glad. Um, but uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to some like $50 fat packs for a little while here. That would be nice. Very nice. Put the cards over here. We got our novel. We got our player's guide, which is similar to what we get uh, now in a fat pack and here is that uh, highly sought after die put it on a, a dark surface and let's get a nice close look at it so we have the onslaught symbol very cool this will go into my collection um, definitely happy to have it did not have it happy to now have it um, we have the guide, which uh, this feels a little thicker than maybe some of the previous issues. But you have your full color guide. There's Wood of Foothills there. What else do we have in the front? I always like find it interesting. So they have decks like Guest Stars, Illusions, Elves, Beasts, Birds, Wizards. Top 10 coolest. What do they say is the coolest? Exalted Angel followed by Clone, Insurrection, uh, Visara the Dreadful. No, nope, they don't think uh, Fetchlands are cool, I guess. We got a little information on everyone in the set. I'm, I'm collecting these as well. Try to, you know, find as much value as I can in these old, uh, old fat packs, which cost a fortune. And now I took one more out of circulation, so the remaining ones will be more expensive. Here we have the Onslaught novel. The land is in upheaval. The forest grows out of control. The mountains erupt. The seas boil. The swamps spew acid and the plains turn to desert. Yet amidst the turmoil, there is civilization. Brutal and unforgiving, pit fighters battle to the death before tremendous crowds, making some rich while others lose everything in one stroke of the sword. The games must continue, so this, so must the struggle for survival. 
I am making my way through these books. It's been a lot of fun. We have obviously our rating card so we can let wizards know how we like the set. I'll be sure to fill out right away. Let's get to our, our packs. We have three boosters and a tournament deck. I think there should be three rares in the tournament deck. I, I don't think there are foils in there. So this uh, this is pure value, uh, pure reverse value to buy this. <laughs> I almost just bought a booster box and was like, ah, they'll understand. But then I figured, you know, when I get to the end of it all, um, I'll feel kind of bummed that I skipped this fat pack. So I just bought it and we'll have to tighten the, tighten the belt for the next month or two to make up for it, but that's all right. Let's open our, uh, usually what, there's a basic land and a common foil, I think. Basic foil land, swamp. And a battering craghorn. Uh, what should we do first? Let's do the tournament deck. So there's 75 randomly inserted game cards and on-site rules insert, just like starter decks. Back when I played, these were kind of like the most popular product because you got lands and like I know nowadays lands are everywhere, but I always felt like I needed more lands because I had so many decks going at once. Try to keep this uh, box intact. At least I can say it's uh, definitely in good shape. It was really hard for me to even find one of these. We got a foil swamp right on top. To how you guys enjoying. Make sure uh, this is a part of a playlist with uh, maybe 20 other fat packs already. So make sure you check that out and um, leave your comments. That would be awesome. All right. Try to keep my thumb off the uh, cards. So we have Foil Swamp. We'll go through the lands here. Or skip by them, I mean. They are beautiful. Oh, we already see our one rare, and it is not a fetch land. Now we saw a second rare that wasn't a fetch land. <sighs> Alright. Another review sheet we have. Undead Gladiator. One and two black for a 3-1. Pay one in a black, discard a card from your hand. Return Undead Gladiator from your graveyard to your hand. Play this ability only during your upkeep. It also has cycling. <laughs> Future Sight, name of uh, an entire set. Very cool. Uh, two and three blue. Play with the top card of your library revealed. You may play the top card of your library as though it were in your hand. Very powerful enchantment. And we have a Read the Ruins. X and a blue. Draw X cards for each card drawn. This way, discard a card from your hand unless you sacrifice a permanent. For un uncommons, we've got Shale Skin Bruiser, Riptide Shapeshifter. I just love the old art anyway. Bloodline Shaman, Shades Breath, Crowd Favorites, Afeto Vulture, Crude Rampart, Thunder of Hooves, Avon Fate Shaper. Centaur Glade. Now we're into the commons. Look at that art. Swat. Burned his whole face off. Dive Bomber. Here's a lonely sandbar. So you guys enjoying this journey? We've got quite a few fat packs already cracked, so... It's definitely been fun for me to go through these old sets and then check out Fever Charm. Is that like a dragon poop? Is that a pile of dragon poop? I think that's, I'm going to assume that's exactly what that is. What else could it be? Mist from Wall, Naturalize, and Haunted Cadaver. All right, well, let's see what these booster packs hold. Maybe we'll find a... Maybe we'll find uh, something sweet. It's only three packs, so our odds are not amazing. But let's just go for it. Let's 
Sandskin. Nosy Goblin, huh? Mage's Gal. This is a very voluptuous woman. Alright, we have an Annex. Prowling Pangalon. Pangolin. Avon Soulgazer. Show me a land. Ah, Riptide Entrancer. One and two blue. Wall of Text. Whenever it deals combat damage to a player, you may sacrifice it. If you do, gain control of target creature that player controls. It also can be cast for Morph. I guess that's uh, nice and tricky. You know, flip it up after they choose not to block it. All right, second pack. Dragon poop. Oh, Siphon Soul. One of my favorite cards back in the day from my kitchen, my kitchen, uh, kitchen tabletop days. We have Chain of Silence, Goblin Burrows, very cool, Cabal Executioner, it is a land, Grand Coliseum, well we got a rare land, uh, comes into play tap, tap one, or tap it to add one colorless, or tap add one mana of any color to your mana pool, but it deals one damage to you. That seems like a pretty cool card. Kind of like uh, Mana Confluence, right? That's pretty cool. Alright, last pack. No shiny. No shinies. No, no, uh, no fetch lands out of this entire fat pack. But that's alright. We did it for history and I hope that you'll take some time to share it with somebody. Introduce him to the channel. Tell him, hey, this guy uh, blows a lot of cash for funsies, and you should check him out. Love to have you. Thanks, everyone. I met out in uh, GP Vegas. Good time. Tolarian Community College, Lengthy Zemet, Mr. Lubufu, and a whole host of fans, which was awesome. We've got Forgotten Cave. Reminiscence. No. Yeah. In spirit, reminisce, not reminiscent, sorry. And our rare, oh, uncommon is <laughs> Ember Mage Goblin. And we have an Ebon Blade Reaper. Very cool art. 1-1 one, one for 3. When it attacks, you lose half your life rounded up. Whenever it deals combat damage to a player, that player loses half of his or her life rounded up. So, looks like we got two of that same cycle there. But definitely a... a, a a fun experience. It's a quick way to uh, lose 400 bucks. <laughs> but uh, I do appreciate you guys and I appreciate you leaving your comments and, and crushing that like button and, and sharing the channel. It's always so very appreciated. I know it bugs some of you guys that I always say that, but uh, the more the channel grows, the more crazy openings I can do. And uh, I appreciate each and one of, uh, each and one of you. Off to go back, uh, working on Game Finder. We'll have it uh, hopefully approved this week. I know I keep saying this week, this week, this week, but uh, Apple keeps kicking it back. The Android version's almost done, so uh, stay tuned. I've got ordered all the prize, uh, the rewards, and they'll start shipping out soon as well. So thanks for watching, guys, and we'll talk to you again real soon. Hope you enjoyed the video, and if you haven't already, check out some of our most popular playlists from MTG Vlogs, sick gameplay videos, new product breaks, and some insane vintage openings. I upload three to four new Magic the Gathering videos every week, so if you haven't already, please take a moment to crush that subscribe button to join one of the fastest growing Magic the Gathering channels on YouTube. Talk to you later.